Hello, my name is Mick Lippmann. This laboratory belongs to the Division of Nanoscale Science at the Institute for Solid State Physics. We study oxide materials. You may be familiar with oxides in field effect transistors, for example, in large-scale integrated circuits. But in this case, oxides are just passive insulators. What we are interested in is using oxides in a more active role. We would like to use the interesting physical behavior, for example, metal insulated transitions, spin order, charge order, even superconductivity, and turn oxides into active participants in oxide electronics. For this purpose, we need to make truly nanoscale oxides. And we use a technique known as pulsed laser deposition, or laser molecular denatitaxy, that allows us to build crystals by stacking single layers of atoms on top of each other. This way we can make very, very thin films, just a few nanometers across, or nanodots, or nanowires, or even nanopyramids and nanopillars. Sometimes we put two materials together to make heterostructures, or we look at the behavior of surfaces. So the students who come to this lab all learn to make these nanoscale crystals by pulse laser deposition. They then pattern them into some form of devices that can be characterized, for example, at low temperature, very high magnetic fields, strong electric fields, or perhaps under light exposure. So now let's go to the laboratory, and I will show you how some of the machines that we use every day work. You can see here one of these thin film deposition systems that I mentioned. This is a vacuum chamber, ultra high vacuum chamber, where we fire a high power laser, evaporating oxide materials, and fabricating these very, very thin nanoscale nanostructures or thin films. We then take the materials out from this vacuum chamber and move them to other systems for characterization. For example, we can take the materials to the system here for analyzing chemical compositions. This system machine is known as X-ray photoelectron spectrometer or XPS. Another choice is to look at the surfaces of these and for that purpose, we go to the machine which you can see over here, which combines a family microscope and an ion scattering spectrum. By combining all these machines, we can make these very, very small nanoscale structures and characterize their compositions and structures. <laughs> ま、ヨンティンティスでは、ヨンナ、カルスレーザー解析工の地域を用いて、原生物で制御された分子量を行います。私の研究では、ヨンナ構造の地域ということで、国外材料を原生物で制御した条件で、ベルベルスクワイズ